Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. It's episode 28, and in the last episode, we, with a very nearly full inventory, uh, are, we're trying to explore the Mercury 2. And I kind of succeeded, if succeeding counts as picking up something that might kill me. I have a reactor rod that is literally clicking in the way that, like, a Geiger counter might click, uh, pointed at something radioactive. It's in my inventory, no big deal. Um, let's throw it inside of a inside of a quantum locker and see what happens. So, here's the deal. We tried at the end of the last episode to explore as much of the Mercury 2 as we could. And I think we mostly got it explored. Here's the problem. I don't have 100% confidence in that fact. And so, what I'm gonna do uh, now that I'm not rushing to end the episode, is try it again, look around very carefully. This is propulsion cannon, but we actually made it in this room. Uh, anyways, so I don't know that we need the propulsion cannon there. Um, we're gonna try to be very careful here and just, and just full on, not careful, but thorough. We're trying to be precise about the wordage. Lots of locked doors, and I don't imagine there's any way I'm going to be able to Warning. beat those. 30 to, to seconds of oxygen remaining. Finish those. <sighs> you know what else I'm thinking? I don't remember, but right here, there was a processing thing. Did I pick it up, or did I scan it? Where the fuck is this thing? Parallel processing. I only have one. It's possible I picked it up. It's possible I scanned it. I don't honestly remember. And the problem is I need a parallel processing unit for uh, the satellite thing. Hold up. There's oxygen right here. And because of that, I really need to be sure about which one I did. And I'm just not. That we've been through. I think we've been through here. Oh, that's a sealed door. Holy shit. Oh, let's go. What are the odds this has a a, 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 a parallel processing unit inside of it? This is why you can't panic. And by you, I mean me. I, I, I panic so often in this game. And you just can't do it and expect to have any luck. You gotta be shitting me. Let's go. Warning. 30 seconds of okay, oxygen I have, I have two. So now we're just gonna look for those everywhere. Because, uh... Thank you very much. Because that was huge. And it obviously it told us about this because like that's the shape of this. It's got the yellow outline around it, you know? So like we should just, I don't know. We, uh, we should just pay more attention. Come on, Ryan. Pay more attention. <laughs> Anytime you see one of those yellow fuckers... an eye out. No yellow fuckers in here, right? No? Okay. No yellow fuckers. No yellow fuckers. That's the one I just cut a hole through. Give me my oxygen back. Man, you can really just stay diving like almost forever in here if you really wanted to. All right. I think it might actually technically be possible if you're making your rounds between places. Over here, there is nothing. Okay. So now let's go. Oh, there's some. Oh, holy shit. It's just metal salvage. But there's an idea. It's just metal salvage on the ground. However, let's see here. No, this part of the mer mercury is pretty much. Sorry, I'm doing the thing where I just talked to myself. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's take a look. Is this the whole ship? That part looks kind of ripped off. 
kind of looks like at the end of the ship, though. The other end was the end with the boosters. Okay, seven. This thing's fucking huge. I should be I should be taking more time with this thing. That's just a cryptosuggus sound. It's not even that it's not even that scary. Please tell me I can go inside of the torpedo launch. Nope. I guess they wouldn't be torpedo, they'd be like missiles or something. You're just a cryptosuggus, you don't even scare me. Okay. Any... Nah, maybe not. Shit. None of this stuff has entryways on it. I thought maybe we would. Hmm. Shit, I'm just out here vibing to this music, though. And whacking my... Sea truck into stuff. This is so cool. Uh, what's the hold up? What's the name of the That's not an eye jelly. What the fuck are you? Sea truck approach first. Juvenile, 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 what? Yo, hold up, hold up. Juvenile, what now? Let's let's read about it before I touch its tentacles. <laughs> oh god. Don't approach it without first reading the science that we did. It is a Leviathan, holy shit. <clears throat> I mean it makes sense. The juvenile's huge. It's got a butthole right on top of it. Uh it's also zero threat. Roughly twenty meters long, the juvenile vent garden represents the immature life stage of the fully grown and established vent garden. This gentle giant appears to swim in aimless looping circles around mature vent gardens. Okay. While their swimming can seem directionless at first glance, they are actively growing and strengthening its tentacles for when it finds a vent upon which to anchor and mature. So that is literal the name. Okay. They're a garden on top of a vent. The bell of the juvenile vent garden remains sealed until it anchors over a vent. Once anchored, the heat and pressure activate a cluster of latent stem cells that develop into an opening over the course of a few months. Docile and not a threat. I mean... Wait. One. Two. What's that? Glow whale. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Circling... Where are you circling? Is the circle inside to my left? Or is it inside to my right? Like my right or my left? Probably right, right? I think it's actually, I think these two are juveniles circling. I mean, there's vents here too, which is the thing, right? Like I think it just kind of makes sense. Ooh, that just exploded. What is that, by the way? Oh, it's just lithium. All right. All right, we can't lose track you. Can't lose track you. Where'd the other one go? One, two. Don't you fucking try me right now, motherfucker. 
busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. Okay, we're going to figure out how, what, what this is circling. I think it's left now. God, this color purple is gorgeous. Is it because of the time of day? No, it's just purple here? Oh, I love it. Is that it? No? It's just one of the things we... It's just one of the things we studied from Marguerite's place. If I'm in between the two of you... It's gonna be anchored around a vent, right? We'll circle it eventually. I'm trying to see if there's more than two. Maybe if I go slightly ahead. Like if I run in a circle around you. I don't know what that was. Jesus Christ, okay. I'm, a, I'm fully lost. Okay, here is the purple area. A thousand meters directly south of my base is the purple area. Gotta keep that in mind. Okay, directly south of base. Oh, fucker. God fucking damn it. There's the guy. Okay, there's the big guy. All right. Oh, please pray there's only one. Listen, I need to take me to your mother. Oh, buddy. Cryptosuchus and then big guy. All right. Oh. Did I grab my... I did. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat. Just to be fully sure I have an extra... Uh, chance to regain health. Sorry. I'm not talking out loud because I'm scared. Doing the thing, I'm doing the thing where I get scared. That's just, it's right in the fucking way. Don't go down there. What are you? I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a risk. Take a risk. Take a risk. Hundred and fifty meters deep. What are you? Are you it? No. You look like something else. Are you the spiral thing? Hold up. Are you the spiral thing? Tornado plates. There's so much in this game. I keep thinking we're at the end of an area, right? And we're never close. Tornado plate. I started this episode saying I was going to search the rest of the uh, mercury. Tornado plates are an underwater mushroom with an inner cage surrounded by a swirling chitin structure. No use. The unusual morphology is not understood. Kind of looks like a butthole on top. Alright, so there you fucking are. That seems like a lot. Is this for mining with a prawn suit? Yeah. Dude, I think I found where we're, where we're building our base. I have to... Right there. No? I have to find a way to do it that it's not near the uh, Leviathan. But I think... Which is fucking right there, by the way. Holy shit. That just rendered for me. Oh my god. The Vent Garden. Harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within.
That is a big boy. Wow. Can I go up inside of it? That sounds... I mean, we were all thinking it. It sounds wrong, but we were all thinking it. I just want to point out. Clarify. There's a, a shark guy to my left. Vent garden. Okay, here's the... Uh, we should check the threat level first, right? We should tra tra check the threat level first. The vent garden is a stationary leviathan that anchors itself above thermal vents and houses aquatic flora inside its bell-shaped interior. Anchoring tentacles. Six tentacles anchor the vent garden to the seafloor around vents. Each tentacle is capped by a set of thick, curved hooks that grow downwards, keeping the vent garden firmly in place. It has a transparent bell. The hollow bell of the vent garden has a narrow opening large enough to accommodate human entry. Let's go. The vent garden feeds on thermophilic bacteria and other microorganisms that spew from the vent below. Top of the bell has an opening that continually releases water to maintain a con consistent internal pressure and probably temperature too. Symbiotic relationship, the bell houses uh, six branching platforms that resemble coral. These platforms contain aquatic flora that remains safe from foraging herbivorous fish. In turn, the flora absorb and synthesize some of the heavy metals and gases emitted by the vents below. Docile, nutrient-rich, arbors, flora. First off, fuck off. I'm going in. That's the coolest. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. What the fuck? Yeah, that's so cool. I still, I still flinched a little bit. That's so fucking cool. I need a, mo I need some oxygen. Warning. Oh, Thirty please. seconds of oxygen remaining. Ooh, that's. I just got birthed out of the butthole. Yep. That's the coolest shit I've ever seen. And the Leviathan is right here and mad. I'm going back in. I need more oxygen. Or I need more chance to explore. It really looked like that was gonna give me oxygen, this part. It's so fucking cool. Seek fluid intake. I know. But first I'm trying to do science, homies. Spiral plant. I need one of these. I need one of these for uh No? I need something spiral? Come on, that's gotta be it, right? Spiral plant clipping, okay, yeah, that's it. Reminiscent of muscle striations. It is actually, that's so cool. The spiral plant contains a strong but lightweight fibrous material that's useful for insulation and pressure equalization. Spiral plant lives in symbiosis with the vent garden, which provides a safe environment for the spiral plants to grow. In turn, the mesh-like fibers of the plant filter out heavy metals from the vent emissions below. New blueprint synthesized, bitches. Okay. Um. Wait, the blueprint itself is synthesized? How does that make sense? Where is the... I mean, I have it now, right? I have clippings. Yes. Okay. I could probably glow one, grow one for myself. Oh, my God. Oh, God. You are clipping... Th Jesus Christ. You're clipping through... Take one more. Uh, tons of spiral plants. 30 seconds of oxygen. I think everything else I probably have. We should probably do one more check. There, there, there. Oh god. I'm getting stuck, I'm getting stuck, I'm getting stuck. Okay. I really need water. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. One more time. I want to double check that I have everything like scanned, you know, etc. That's all cool. That's all cool. Somebody's definitely built their base inside of one of these, right? That sounds like a pain in the ass, to be clear. And I don't want to do it. 
Well, uh, somebody's, somebody I'm sure has managed it, yeah? I think I can also go out the top, so I want to try that as well. Wait, can I? Nope. Nope. Doesn't appear so. Alright. Let's GTFO. 30 seconds of oxygen oh remaining. God. Let's get the fuck away from this guy. Uh, home. Home is what direction? Home is that way. Great. Let's just book it. Let's just book it. Let's just book it. I need water. It's time to just call our adventure off. I still think I want to go back to the Mercury Station 2 at some point. Considering I don't think I actually managed to... What direction was this, by the way? This was uh, straight south. Straight south, 1,200 meters. All right. 1,200 meters south is where this was. Cool. I think this might be an awesome place to build a base. I don't know where precisely. My goal is going to be to avoid some of the annoying guys like Crypt the Guy and that Reaper Leviathan. That's for goddamn sure. However, here's what I'm thinking. Access to things that I can farm with my prawn suit sounds awesome. Seek fluid intake immediately. Is that land? Oh yeah, we're real close to the Delta Station dock. Duh. Um, we're real close to the de to uh, uh to the. We're close to the middle of the map. We're close to some plant life. Um, some. Other life, I guess. I don't know. It looked fine. It looked cool. Maybe we'll go there. I'm excited to do some base building. We should turn our light on. It's fucking dark out here. Especially now that Cryptosuckers don't uh, scare me so much. The other thing, too, is that, like, there are lots of places that have looked pretty in the game, obviously stunning incredible places uh but i would have felt like if i'd selected any of them for my home like i was sort of settling for something that didn't feel quite perfect but seemed cool you know the thing about that purple light just like the minute i was inside of that like lavender light i was just like oh, this feels like me and what more do you want from home than a place that feels like you? I mean, shelter from <laughs> elements, you know, access to food. Lots of lots of other things, it turns out, rather than just a, a decoration. But it just felt like me. We're going to have to scout out the exact right location, but... Ow, fuck. But I think we might have found it. Uh, let's go ahead and turn our light off. All right, so I need some food and water first. So I'm going to Captain. take care of that by my whole inventory is fucking full. <laughs> by dumping a bunch of gel sacks here, I guess. Sure. And then eating some shrub nuts. You've been forewarned if you don't like the eating sound. <laughs> Vital signs stabilizing. Those are so bad for water. Um, I think I might just drink some. That's probably the smarter call. Let's just drink some water. Great. Lord knows we got too much space, anyways. Uh. All right. Ooh. Well, 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 what is next? Let's get to work, shall we? I have a good feeling right now, which is having more options. Like a couple episodes ago, I had maybe fewer options than I would have liked. I really needed diamonds in order to do a bunch of stuff, it turns out. Uh, now? I got a different feeling, which is the world is my fucking oyster and 
what should be next? I just don't know. I got all kinds of suits and tools, I think, that I can make. Um, I need to ferry a lot of resources over to our, our new area to build a base in. And uh, not to mention different types of suits. We got more advanced fabrication stuff than ever before. I think the priority is going to be anything I can build right now, I want to build it because that's fewer resources that I then have to craft or to, to cart over to my other base. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Some of the things that I can build right now. Uh, I'm going to grab a couple of rubies and build a era gel. I know I have rubies. They're inside of my locker. Uh, I'm going to build one era gel. And one synthetic fiber. We're having this water problem, right? Let's take care of that fucking water problem. Let's take care of that water problem, baby. Uh, all right, so we will eventually need a cold suit, but in the meantime, water filtration suit sounds fantastic. That takes care of both of our pinned recipes. And we get to start thinking about what's next. Um, so. I need a propulsion cannon eventually, but I don't have uh, the things for it. I cannot make parallel processing units. I can, nope, I can't make that because I don't have parallel processing units. I am going to need a, another power cell at some point actually, uh, but I don't think I can, I could maybe make that right now. Uh, we'll add it on the list just in case. None of the cold suit stuff I can make. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's think. Let's think. Let's think. Dude, I wish I had a storage module for the sea truck. Um, I ha Hold up. I have the perimeter defense thing. I should just go put that in. Holy shit. That's a bit of my inventory, actually. I forgot about that. Right? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Um, that's a laser cutter, so we should put the repair tool on and use that. So that I can then charge that battery here in a little bit. Alright. So. Uh, oh, buddy. The, pro the progress is about to come hot and heavy. Holy shit, I'm excited. What else can I make and do I want right now? Uh, depth upgrade mark two. I can't make until I have a modification station. Same with the ultra high capacity tank. Um, I'm going to need a bunch, a bunch of, uh, titanium eventually for lots of this stuff. I can go plant a single spiral plant clipping, which I think would maybe make sense so that I can have one in the future. The good news is we're going to move our whole, our whole thing over to a, uh, new location soon. So... I think that might be the last thing that I need to build, actually. Or uh, I need to do is is plant one thing here. Ooh, which is a problem because we're actually completely full on planting. Not entirely true. I can plant one here. I fucking dropped it again. It's obviously an underwater plant, Ryan. God damn it. I thought I was going to make it through the whole game without doing that. Shit! I'm sorry. Old habits die hard. Fuck. <laughs> well, the other thing I just realized is that I actually don't need a power cell either because I believe we can make a power cell charger. Advanced wiring kit. We can't. So, turns out we have nothing that we need to make right this second and only everything to build for ourselves in the future. Uh, so that's what we're going to do in the next episode. Get a little head start on turning this little cramped quarters into my prior base and starting a new one. I can't wait. Let's go. It's time to dive 
deep. I mean, not dive deep, but it's time to go deep into the base building mode. I've been waiting for this for a couple of, for 20 episodes at this point. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. The highlight of my day every single day is reading your comments down below the Subnautica Below Zero uh, videos. 3 p.m. EST rolls around for you. Maybe you check to see whether or not the new Indigestion Below Zero video dropped. Uh, 3, 3 o'clock p.m. rolls around for me. I'm checking out what the comments say, what you guys are up to, and, uh, and how you guys are feeling. So thanks so much for sharing this journey with me. I said this actually real quick before we go. I'm going to pause so that time pauses too. Real quick before we go. Um, at this point, I think it'll have been a couple days ago on the YouTube channel. So you may need to scroll down a bit if, you're, if you want to find it. Uh, I talked about in our monthly channel update, my impression so far on Below Zero. And uh, in case you wanted to know that I spent a couple minutes talking about my impressions of the game so far, that's where you'd find it. Uh, and I also just want to reiterate a thing I said at the end of that video, which is that in a world where you could be watching anything right now, YouTube has a whole hell of a lot of videos on it. And then you've got all your paid subscriptions like Netflix, your, your Netflixes, your Hulus, your dropouts, your a million different things. Uh, in a world where you could watch all of those things, any time you spend with me is just a, a thing I'm very thankful for. Thanks for taking a chance on this series and our playthrough of it and uh, I don't take that for granted so thanks very much I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video until then bye bye